We've recently switched over from the flat load to the triple layer load, and we're gonna demonstrate the deployment of that triple layer load for you right now. Okay, let me show you what it looks like inside our cross-lay hose bed. This is ladder 62, and uh, we've got our cover. We've got one loop around a nozzle, just so everybody can see when I pull this out. When you pull this load, you wanna make sure that you pull this loop and you grab the nozzle with it. That's the key to, that's the key to pulling this load off of our truck, right here. One of the main advantages of the triple layer load is that once you pull it the 50 or 60 feet out of the hose bed, it's ready to fight fire and be charged. Right now, we're gonna deploy the triple layer load. I'm gonna grab the loop and the nozzle, and off I go. As you can see, now that I've advanced it out of the hose bed, the hose is ready to be used in an attack situation. I'm ready to fight fire. I've got quick water and I'm ready to start an interior attack if needed. All right, now that the hose has been deployed, we're gonna go ahead and go illustrate the steps to repack the triple layer load. Okay, when loading the triple layer load, it's important to make sure that the hose that is coming out of your hose bed goes directly along the side of the truck to the ground. Remember, you're gonna have all of your hoses connected. From there, we're gonna stretch the hose out into an S-type configuration, which is gonna leave you three equal lines. It's vitally important that all the water is drained out of each section of the hose, because when you load it, the water will end up in the loop and will become a problem as it's loaded into the truck. And when you go back to the truck to load it up, you want to load all three layers as one unit. We're going to load that just as you would load a flat load into the bed of the truck. <laughs> all right, let's load this hose. Lay it down here. Perfect. As you repack the triple layer load, the nozzle distance from the end of the loop will adjust. So you'll just have to play with your hose until you get it to a place that you like. Okay, for a second, hold on. Okay. All right, the next thing that I wanna show you is utilizing the triple layer load uh, in confined space areas. We run a lot of calls on interstate. I-75 is right outside of our station. And so when we deploy this hose on the side of I-75, we've got a limited area away from the truck that we have to deploy it in. Let me show you a technique that we use to deploy the triple layer load in a confined space type area. When we deploy this load, the firefighter is gonna take the nozzle and go forward towards wherever the car fire is, and the officer is gonna take the loop part of the triple layer load and walk towards the back of the truck, allowing us to put a split in the hose and allow this hose to be deployed without hanging on the side of the truck. All right, Brian, Brian, Brian Angelson's gonna hop up there, grab the nozzle, pull it down with the loop, once he gets that loop down, he's gonna give me the loop. My engineer can help by splitting, and I'm gonna pull by going this way. All right, hose load is deployed. He's ready for quick water to attack any kind of vehicle fire that we get in a confined space area. What we've got here probably maybe eight feet at the most, and that's the way to deploy this hose without any complications. The engineer can assist as the hose is coming off in the situation by just helping feed this out. My pup panel's here, he can get me water without any delay. 
I want to personally thank firefighter Brian Angelson and firefighter Steve Krause for assisting with this video. All right, guys, just in closing, that's our triple layer load and how we deploy it. Uh, play with it, see what you like. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next episodes.